to the Changeling Hive. I told you I could do it. Well, not exactly straight, Starlight. We've been popping all around Equestria, and we still have to walk. It's like 12 steps away. Before Chrysalis's throne was destroyed, the closest magic would have gotten us was way over there. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy do you think Thorax is going to be about our surprise visit? Definitely 10. I mean, who wouldn't be happy at the chance to marvel at the overwhelming talent that is the great and powerful Trixie! Trixie, we're coming to offer Thorax encouragement and support. His letters make it seem like the responsibilities of being the changeling leader are a little overwhelming. Yeah, I know. That's basically what I said. He's dealing with the wants and needs of his subjects. Redesigning the hive, a dread Malworf wreaking havoc outside. It does sound like a lot, but are you sure that last thing is real? The dread Malworf? Sure it is. Thorax said it's like half bear, half mole, half raging pile of claws. But now that the changelings don't feed on the love of everything around them, plants have started to grow back. But this Malworf keeps eating them all up. Malworf. Uh-huh. You're just trying to scare me, but it won't work. Because not only am I the great and powerful, I am also the unscarable Trixie! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Please tell me Thorax also mentioned a terrifying looking changeling who greets visitors but is actually nice? Nope. And I'm not nice. <sighs> <laughs> You got us here. I'll take us home. Teleportation spell, go! Did I say this? Nope. What are you waiting for? Use some magic to get us out of here! Calm down, unscarable Trixie. We have to find out what's going on. Thorax might need our help. We need our help! Teleportation spell, go! Teleportation spell, go! Ah! Teleportation spell! Ugh. Why do you keep doing that? You know it doesn't work that way. I know, but this is my process. <laughs> I captured these trespassers. Starlight, Trixie. It's okay, Pharynx. You can let them go. But they were lurking on our grounds. In the old days, I would have already feasted on their love. Well, that's why they're called the old days, because they're old. We don't do that anymore. Yeah, I like the old days better. What are you two doing here? We wanted to surprise you. Surprise! Well, it's great to see you. I'm sorry about the welcome committee. <laughs> I thought Ember helped you get more assertive so you could deal with all the renegade changelings who didn't want to change. Oh, she did. Really helpful. I was able to convince all of them to change, except one of them. My brother. Your brother? Yep. Pharynx is my elder broodmaid. Oh, yeah. You guys have the same... eye shape? What a ridiculous comparison. We are nothing alike. <sighs> Stop doing that! I looked better with holes. Oh, well, how about I show you the rest of the hive, where it's less loud and bangy? There have been a lot of changes since you were here last. I'm trying to start some new activities, since the only thing we did before was hunt and patrol. There's theater. Swing dancing. A once-a-week potluck lunch. Ooh, and who can change shape and organize craft time? Hmm? This guy. I am really impressed, Thorax. The hive, all the activities... Go! Oh, he did it again! Pharynx dumped an entire can of black paint on me! He said my fuchsia color wasn't intimidating to our enemies. What enemies?! I am so sorry. I promise I'll talk to him. You're the ruler of the hive, Thorax! You need to do more than talk! Well, maybe not everything here is amazing.